Holy f Is the Tide of Ashes that basic? It comes at the drop of a hat? I don't think this Tide of Ashes formed naturally. Form a tide of ashes? City lapdogs, you know very well what the people of White Sands have been through. You monopolized hypercubes to reap vast fortunes from White Sands. But you don't give a damn whether the people of White Sands live or die. It was me. I brought together all the persecuted people of White Sands, bestowed upon them hypercubes, and gave them the hope to live. Filthy pie hole. Crap, crap, crap! My hand is numb. What kind of sword is that? <laughs> Did you think I had no chance of winning? Careful. Ah! Oh, thank goodness I dodged quickly. That speed and strength is incredible. Are you sure that guy isn't a sinner or a corrupter? Hikate and I couldn't beat him with our combined strength. Not right now, but he will become one. He prayed to the Ash Crystal for power and received an answer. He has been bestowed the power of Limbo, plunging him into paranoia and rage. Just like the shadowy figures whose souls have been devoured by the Tide of Ashes, it is only a matter of time before he becomes a corruptor. You dare compare me to those lowly monsters? Your words really shattered his little heart. Soon you won't dare to speak with such insolence. <laughs> I shall use the power bestowed upon me by the Ash Crystal to smite you, to smite this city, and obtain all the hypercubes. By then... I shall control everything in White Sands. I shall become the master of White Sands. <laughs> How humans hate and kill each other is of no consequence to me at all. But if you presume to use your tedious barbarism to mistreat and desecrate White Sands, that is unforgivable. Oh, desecrator of White Sands, the only place your soul deserves to be is hell. If I die, then you shall... Also. Oh. 
Chief, we didn't find any ash crystals on the ship. They must have been moved. The tide of ashes is approaching the shelter. We need to retreat to the V-710. Of people in the shelter who haven't had the chance to board. So what? Your mission is to chase down the desert bandits and retrieve the ash crystal, not wasting time on rescue efforts. I can't turn a blind eye to those in need. You say this because you want to obstruct the mission, don't you? Only a Quinn lackey would give such a ridiculous reason. You're just a navigator. You're not qualified to engage in our talks. MBCC Chief, you're a smart cookie who knows what you need to do, right? Are you trying to teach me what measures to take? Shall we do now? There's no time. There's simply no time to evacuate them. If we don't leave now, we'll get caught up in it too. The desert bandits who took the ash crystal must be back. They don't intend to spare anyone here. Chief, shall we leave? However, there is another foolproof way, and that is to use an ash crystal. It can drive away sandworms and pierce through ashes, for it is a creation born from the tide of ashes and the infallible treasure of the desert bandits. was right about you. You are indeed a brave one. Stay with me, MBCC Chief. I need you. Use your shackles to help me. Get 
Get her. Depart. Wallow. Don't look back. Don't look back. Believe it! This actually made the tide of ashes disappear! Chief, the obstacle has been removed. It's time to close the net. These are the humans you trust. Chief, the Outland Affairs Bureau has issued an urgent communications request. This is the Desert Bandit's interrogation record. The Desert Bandit said that their crystal came from a creature trapped in the depths of the Tide of Ashes, called the Filth Flower. When the Desert Bandits attained the crystal, they not only gained the power to control sandworms, but also used it to summon the Tide of Ashes. It's the source of the Tide of Ashes. It's the place where the Apostles of Ashes want to take you. No one knows what that place is, nor does anyone know what the Filth Flower and its intentions are. Well, theoretically, if you find the Filth Flower, you may find a way to end the Tide of Ashes. White Sands will regain its tranquility. Hey, you workaholics. Are you done with the report yet? Hakate, I told you to bring Chief over to the celebratory party as soon as you drop off the record. But I waited all day and neither of you came back. Yes, the shelter arranged it, to show their gratitude. Let's go already! Kawakawa is already there! Here's to our adventure! Cheers! Hey, why are you being such a party pooper? It's time to wine and dine and party all night! Right, Kawakawa? Yes! Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Another one, please. Yeah, swallow before you talk. 
<laughs> I just feel so happy to have met you guys and joined in the mission. Ugh, so corny. Are you babbling nonsense because you're drunk? Who would be happy to meet a sinner? I didn't drink. These are my true feelings. We even found new ash crystals. Maybe we'll be able to break through the tide of ashes and chart a perfect white sands route. Of course, it's all thanks to Chief and Miss Stargazer. <sighs> what a pity that she did not come to the party. I still have a lot of questions for her. Maybe Miss Stargazer didn't come because she doesn't want to be pestered by you. Am I really that annoying? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Chief, do you want to take her along for tomorrow's operation? You came to ask me to stay. You asked a strange question. Let me answer you this way. I know everything about you. I already completed your requests. I should be leaving anyways. Why are you asking me to stay? So, you want to arrest me? I never hid anything about myself from you, yet you've been feeding me lies all this time. You keep more secrets than anyone. No need to apologize. It's up to you to decide who to share your true self with. You didn't answer my question, Chief. Why do you insist that I stay? Just because of the mission? Dreams are the projection of reality. You are indeed special and beloved by White Sands. Though you are beloved by White Sands, will you choose it in return? Will you leave the human world?
From the day I became aware of my power, to the day I was condemned as a heretic, till now, I have never felt alone. No, the power of prophecy. Divining for others has a special meaning for me. It was the first time I encountered that world and felt its power. It allowed me to see the omen. I became obsessed, intent on using the omens to catch a glimpse of the end of the world. Back in reality, everything I prophesied came true one by one. For a while, I became a deity in everyone's eyes. But more than admiration, humans feared this power. My people treated me as a deviant in a league with the devil. I was constantly shunned and chased away. I became a monster to the world. From then on, I've been waiting against the crowd in pursuit of the truth that belongs to me. I've also been waiting for my true companion. The crystal ball told me that the answers to my questions lie inside the tide of ashes. So I left my people and ventured into the tide of ashes alone. Yes, I almost died in that sandstorm. It, who hails from the other world saved me and bestowed me an eternal life of a different kind. I finally felt the kindness of a companion. I will never forget the kindness from my companion. Thus I'm certain that even if separated by language and thought, there are more of my kind in this world. Thank you for choosing to understand me no matter what. It makes me very happy. So, I choose to help you again. You little monster who wants to understand monsters. Ah, look. The full moon has risen to the middle of the sky. Chief, the Tide of Ashes is ahead. I... I have the crystals ready. Go, Chief, go! I... I believe we can do it! Chief, go and experience that dangerous path you're determined to take. 